Hello, my name is Rose Biju Ramirez and I'd like to welcome you to another session of Quiet Time. With me, I've got Apostle Lou Joseph Marcus Gomez. Yes. Hello, Apostle. Hello, Rose. Okay. Good to be So we are here. here. It is good to be here again. And uh, today I brought us another topic. Our topic for today is you are empowered to perform. Okay, you are empowered. So just want to say a quick word of prayer. Father, we thank you. We thank you for this session of my time. We thank you that we can yes. connect to hear your mind for us today. Help everyone that's connecting today to get to understand that they have the power to empower and to empower able to perform in the name of Jesus amen. Amen. amen and so we are people that God has given the power so we are empowered to perform you're gonna tell me how so the book of Acts 1 18 the Lord Jesus the Bible tells us that the Lord Jesus said he's not, he's not gonna leave us forsake us leave us alone when he leaves he will leave us the holy spirit that will be our guidance so in acts 1 verse 8 mm. the word of god says ye shall receive power after the holy ghost and he goes on to say ye shall be witnesses unto me both in jerusalem and judea so the verse carries on so i'm going to start with the first part of this verse mm. Ye shall receive a power. That means you've already received. Once you have Jesus in you, you've already received the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. You've already received the power. Hallelujah. Do you want to add on to that? No, also? definitely. You know, the key in, in the key in this verse is in understanding. When the Bible says you shall receive power, you have to be able to actually see that you already have that power mm -hmm. when you have Jesus. Mm -hmm. All right, because the power comes when you receive the Holy Spirit. So first you have the Holy Spirit and then the power follows. Amen. And the key in this verse is in understanding that you have that power. It's yes. not something that you need to receive again. again. It's not something that you have to pray for mm -hmm. again because you already received it when the Holy Spirit came in your life. Amen. So you've got that power inside of you, living inside. And many times as Christians, we ask for that power. God, give me the power. God, I need this. I need the power. No, I want somebody by this video through this video to understand that you already have the power mm. you see you need to live a victorious life being a christian is not about being weak no. it's not about being faint once you've got that power see what somebody that has the power behaves like mm -hmm. they own the world you mm -hmm. behave that like nothing can make you to faint mm. because mm. you have the power in you that gives you the energy okay so the second part of that verse mm -hmm. says after the Holy Ghost, that means ye shall then be my witnesses. So you then have the power to be. To be, exactly. The power to be who? The power to be successful. The power to rule. The power to, to, to be victorious. Mm -hmm. The power for nothing in this world mm -hmm. to make you feel like you are worthless because you have the power. Yeah. Yeah, you know, this bit is so powerful. This second key is so powerful and life-changing. Because it says you will be my witnesses, mm -hmm. right? So we have the power to be successful, to be all this, to be all that. It really means that to be a witness of Jesus Christ has nothing to do with just going out there and preaching the gospel no. in the sense of repent mm -mm. and so and so. You have to be a witness in your life. Yes. Everything about you has to testify about the greatness of God and His a uh, uh, presence in your life mm. you know so the second key is being it's not trying to do no. something to become no. no when you receive the power you become you get uh you, you get the enablement amen the enablement is the key to be and to do yeah so you you have this enablement which is the key in you that 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 um activates the power that is in you okay so you need to live a, a, a life constantly believing mm -hmm. in me i've got the power to be so i can do all things to mm. christ that strengthens me you've got that energy in you you've got that 
power in mm -hmm. you. Hallelujah. So the Holy Spirit in you regenerates you, mm -hmm. gives you the power. It empowers you to live like Jesus. Amen. You see, he said, Amen. greater things which you greater things Look will you that. do than Look I did. That. So that means he knows he's given you the power that you can do more mm -hmm. and much more mm -hmm. than Jesus did. Hallelujah. So I want somebody not to feel I'm worthless. Mm -hmm. I'm not strong enough. I cannot make it. I am weak. Wow. Be anxious for nothing wow. because you've got an, an enabled power in you that activates the spirit mm -hmm. in you so you can be much more than you are. Yeah, yeah. That brings us directly to the third key. Mm -hmm. And the third key says God Go and do it. Go and do it. If you have this power in your life, you know, you have the presence of God in your life. And now you are because you have become a witness of Jesus Christ. You know, what do you do? What's the third step? The third step and the third key is really simple. Go out there and do it. You know, there is a reason for the power. Mm -hmm. You know, there is a reason for the power. But you have to understand this. If there is no trouble in your life, there is no opportunity for you to manifest the power. Mm -mm. Okay, that's very key to understand. If there is no challenge in your life, no obstacles, then you don't have the opportunity to go out there and actually exercise be the witness, it. Yeah. exercise the power. Yeah. You see, so we need some of those things that you are going through right yes. now. You need some of those things in your life. Listen, somebody once told me, it's not the sugar in the tea that makes the tea sweet, no. but it's the steering of it yes. that makes it sweet. So that means what? You need to activate the power that is activate. in you. You've got sugar, you put it in your tea, but until you stir mm. it, until you activate stirring yeah. the, the sweetness won't be manifest exactly. so until you stir up the power in you it will not manifest Man, exactly. there is a lot of sweetness coming to you right now yes a lot of stir sweetness it up. I'm stir it telling up. get you. stirring get stirring just do you it see the Holy Spirit enables you to mm. withstand the pressures of this world Jesus knew that in this world you'll encounter mountains yeah. you'll encounter obstacles you'll encounter storms you'll encounter fires but the Spirit of God, the power that is in you mm -hmm. enables you to stand, to withstand the pressures, the winds and the storms. Where people fail, you mm. cannot fail. You won't. So you will go through the you sea. You won't. You, go through, go, you will go through the storm. You will not drown. Mm. You, will go, you will go through the fire and mm. you will not be burned because mm. the, the power that is in you enables you to withstand all these pressures. Yeah. And like the apostle says, the pressures, the stress, the mm -hmm. problems are there for the power in you to be activated. Exactly. How can you say I've got the power if there's no manifestation mm -hmm. of it? Mm -hmm. So by you going through what you're going through, you're not going to die. What will happen is the spirit of God in you, the power in you will enable you. It will fight for you. It will enable you to fight and stand and then be a witness. Mm. People will say, Apostle, how do you do it? How do you do it? How do how, you smile? How do you go through this and, and still laugh? Smile? How can you still smile? Maybe you're going through a divorce right now and mm. you're still smiling. People can say, they can ask you, how how can you be going through a divorce and still standing? Maybe you lost a, deal, a, a child of yours. Maybe you lost a father, a mother. You, you're going through something really difficult. But in between your sorrows, you're still finding some mm -hmm. a, a, a way of smiling and standing. Mm -hmm. It's because of the power that is in you. There is so a get power stirring. In you. Get Amen. stirring. Activate Amen. it. There is a power working in you. you know, and, and, and it's really this. Where others get broken, you become a diamond. Yeah, man. You know, because the, the, the pressure will kill others but not you the pressure will turn you into a diamond because you have power in you amen all right you have a power working inside of you and i really believe that if you just take these three keys you know you you, you, you first of all we said you, you have, have to power. know know that you've got the power you know you it. have it yes and then secondly we said you have to be it be it don't try to be mm -hmm. just be, be it. it and then act and then activate act, it, you know, it go out. and do it. Activate and act it out. See, the, the power that you've got in you, the Bible says in Luke 10, 19 and 20, that God has given you the power to tread upon serpents, mm -hmm. to tread upon scorpions, and they will not do you anything. Any power of the enemy over your life will not work. Yeah. So begin to activate that power. Begin to tap onto it. Begin to work on it and know that nothing will make you to faint. Nothing will hurt you because you are empowered to work and perform. Form. May God bless you this, this bless morning. Bless you, this bless you, bless you. you. Thank are, you so much for you watching. You are empowered to perform. Thank you and God bless you. God bless you. Bye-bye.